Hey there, how are you? The European Power Platform Conference took place in Vienna, Austria just a couple of weeks ago and Copilot was the ruling subject. I guess EPPC finally got me to start building in Copilot Studio. My name is George Daniel and in this video I'm going to show you how to build an agent to assist on HR inquiries. To build an agent you need to go to Copilot Studio and before starting to build please make sure you are in the right environment. Next you can take the wizard-like experience and start describing what you want. An agent to respond to questions regarding the organization's HR policies. Click play and the wizard will start give it a moment yes and we'll also ask for some more information like what you want to call the agent you can either accept the um, the suggestion or you can give it a different instruction in this case i'm going to call this the demo video agent next you will be asked for instructions and here you can start defining the agent's behavior something like this it should answer questions on hr subjects based on the given knowledge and refrain from answering any other questions on other domains Keep the scope tight and well defined. Now it's asking me if we want to add any other knowledge sources. Uh, we are not going to do this because we are feeding the agent with the document, with the information that it needs. Just before hitting the create button please click on these three dots here and go into edit advanced settings so you can choose where to put your agent the solution where you want your agent to be and then click create I already have one made, so I will jump to it. After creating, you should land in something that looks like this. And if you notice, you have your test pane on the right. Now, before testing, you need to add some knowledge to it. In this scenario, I have added a word file with the information on HR policies and also a SharePoint list. So click on add knowledge and you can either upload the file or maybe point to its location in OneDrive or SharePoint. It will probably take a couple of minutes to upload, ingest and get it ready. You should wait till it looks like this. And now you can start testing. Let's ask it. How many sick days do I have? Now it's going through the knowledge we have provided and it should choose the right source for uh, delivering a, an answer. George Daniel, like all employees, is entitled to one week, five days of paid sick leave per year. Let's uh, ask it something else. 
do we have a work from home option? Again, looking through the sources and giving me an answer. Our company supports flexible remote work arrangements with managerial approval. Before. Now, if the answers aren't exactly what you hoped for, you may need to tweak both the description and the instructions. Sometimes you need to get real specific modeling the behavior of your agent. Now, let's ask about vacation days. How many vacation days do I have? Now, going through the motion, looking at sources, this time it chose a different source and made use of a tool. And the answer was, you have used 11 vacation days, you now have nine days remaining. <clears throat> A tool is something that you provide the, way, the, the agent with and with the tool you will be looking at engaging with another service and the great thing here is that you can leverage the 1500 plus connectors in the power platform. <clears throat> so if you click add a tool and maybe do all here, you will see the same connectors you are used to seeing uh, with Power Automate, for instance. Now, in this case, what I have done was building a, an agent flow that it's pretty, pretty much a cloud flow, but it's in a different context. And also uh, the licensing for these are is different. Uh, so maybe you will want to get a look into it. But what this does is it's triggered when an agent calls on it. So it's the agent reasoning through your question and making the decision to call on the flow. And what it does is to send a parameter. In this case, we are looking for the user email. And then pretty simple stuff here, going through the list, sorting or filtering by the user email and then getting an answer. Uh, take a look here at the, the list. So this is pretty simple. We have a couple of people here. We have an email column to do the matching. And then we also have prepared an answer to return to, to the agent. And that's what we do here. Now, the trick here is passing the parameter which you do by defining a, an input as a custom val value and looking at the system variable that it's available here. You can look for it and then you just need to add it. So what this does is getting the, um, the logged in user and getting his email and sending it to, to the flow. Finally, when happy with your agent, you can publish it. And after you publish it, you can go and use it in different channels. Let's take uh, the example of Teams and Microsoft 365 Copilot. You click on this card here and um, before seeing these options here, 
you'll have to add the agent to the channel so you'll have the option to add it and then you will see these options here let's take a look at the um, the agent in teams here it is and let's try and ask it something And there you go. Our company supports flexible remote work arrangements. Uh, the same answer you got uh, when testing. I had some fun tinkering with this agent and um, I will be looking to do more with Copilot Studio. I hope you've enjoyed this one and please leave your comments. See you soon.